It's a heavyweight championship showdown between Cain Velasquez and Mauricio Shogun Hua. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Or till the tape for this, our main event of the evening. The American is 31, the Brazilian is 38. Velasquez weighed in at 240 pounds. He will have a one inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 27 wins, 13 losses, and one draw. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Curitiba, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Mauricio Shogun! the champion fighting out of the red corner this man is a wrestler holding a professional record of 14 wins three losses he stands six feet one inch tall weighing in at 240 pounds fighting out of san jose california presenting the reigning defending undisputed ufc heavyweight champion of We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves is my effort. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, 
it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plan seemed pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to... Oh! Huge right hand! Oh, nice right hand. Now goes in and secures the takedown. Crucifix from the top position, DC. If you're on the bottom, what are you trying to do to get out? On the bottom, you've got to start bridging. You've got to drive your feet and your heels into the mat. Start bridging and turning side to side, hoping that one of the arms slip through the cracks so that you can try to get back to a position where you can defend yourself. A good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy and not just busy but effective. You can just throw one unbelievable, and that's gonna do it. Unbelievable, <laughs> yes, sir. It goes into the books as a first round win by knockout, near perfect execution. The technique was absolutely gorgeous. And again, when you catch a guy early, maybe you're getting him full before he's had a chance to work up a sweat or even get into the fight a little bit, those strikes can have a bigger effect, and it certainly did here tonight. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop this contest at one minute, three seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by and still, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, King All right, so a big result for a big man tonight as his star continues to shine. Congratulations to the still UFC heavyweight champion of the world. The baddest man on the planet is standing in the middle of that octagon right now, over and over. You see him get new belts, the UFC heavyweight champion.